Never get that feeling of doom ja vu. Ha ha ha. Oh, wait. Anyone? Nobody? Oh. I'll see myself out. Not content with releasing arguably two of the best games of the year with Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey, Nintendo have stunned us all by announcing that 2016's gloriously gory Doom will be ported over to the Switch. Now this is nothing short of extraordinary, not only because Doom has the graphical demands to max out even the most powerful gaming PCs, but also because it's the first exclusively adult game to be released on a Nintendo console for quite some time. Will Nintendo's gamble pay off? Can the Switch even handle the likes of Doom? Will I still get Doom and Duke Nukem perpetually mixed up? Grab your BFG and let's find out! I gotta sing the Doom song now! Doom 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 Six. Overall, the port over to the Switch is phenomenal given the console's lack of technical oomph. It still has the fluid, almost dance-like gameplay that works so well in creating a brutally visceral yet graceful experience. And rest assured, partner, this ain't no stripped-down version of the game. Instead, expect all the features from its bigger brothers, including a full campaign of multiplayer to satiate hours of bloodlust. Doom also treats us to what could possibly be the best original score from any video game in the modern era. <laughs> Mick Gordon arranges aggressive electronic beats with crushing guitar riffs to create the best soundtrack for ripping up Hellspawn with a chainsaw. BFG Division is definitely a highlight track and one to add to any workout playlist. Ultimately, regardless of what platform you're playing it on, what makes this game stand out is that it manages to recreate the magic of the original Doom in all its frenetic, heart-pounding glory. As players of Duke Nukem Forever will attest, Rediscovering that mojo is no mean feat. With all that being said, Doom on the Switch isn't quite the perfect port. The limitations of the console mean you're stuck with a sub 720p 30 frames per second experience, which in of itself isn't an issue, particularly on the smaller tablet screen. However, in the heights of intense battle, you may also experience some serious lag problems. Not exactly what you need when you're trying to keep the edge in multiplayer. And as much as it pains me to say it, if you're coming from last year's console or PC versions, there just isn't enough to entice players to fork out the cash again for what is essentially a downgrade of the same game. As good as it is, you won't find anything new here. Although not quite perfect, Doom on the Switch is better than it had any right to be. Not only does it recapture the glory of the past, but with Skyrim and LA Noir also being remastered for the console, it signifies the dawning of a new age of adult games returning to Nintendo. I'll steadfastly maintain that Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is the best overall game of all time, but I would also argue that Doom is the most technically impressive handheld game of all time. Now which one is better? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Or if you're watching this on Facebook, I guess just give us a like. Would you please stop singing?